Disclaimer, no Nintendo 64s were harmed in the making of this video. Hopefully. What's up guys, I am not dead. I do want to apologize about not uploading for a while. I have been actively working on Paper Mario related content, just not on videos quite yet. I do urge you guys to keep an eye on my Twitter, at Strider7x, if you're ever curious about what I'm up to. A lot of times, if I'm on a hiatus from YouTube, I'm still working on glitches or future videos, and I gotta say, there is a lot of stuff to cover. I did finally get my hands on a Nintendo 64, so today we are going to be talking about a glitch that functions differently depending on the version. And just a heads up, the video quality is lower than normal since I don't have the best method of recording N64 footage. I have touched on Goompa glitches in the past. Uh, there is a small segment early into the game where this character follows Mario, only to be replaced by the first official partner, Goombario. However, this exchange can be skipped. By using a trick requiring multiple frame-perfect jumps from a loading zone, we can offset Mario's entrance angle just enough to glitch out of bounds beyond the gate, which is responsible for starting the cutscene. As a result, Goombario never permanently joins us, but he temporarily appears alongside Mario during a sequence at Shooting Star Summit. Eventually, we progress to Koopa Village, where Cooper joins our party. As expected, Cooper is the only partner available at this point since we skipped Goombario. But interestingly, in battle, Goompa has an entry on the partner menu. This is as a direct result of performing Goombario skip and does not happen otherwise. What's perhaps even more strange is if you switch to Goompa during your partner's turn, the game crashes. A while back, I made a video demonstrating various effects on the Virtual Console, and you might recall this not happening. In fact, it is one of many crashes exclusive to the Nintendo 64 release. You can crash the game in basically any battle using this method. Switch to him using Mario's turn, and the battle will continue normally. Although, you are disadvantaged because Goompa doesn't have any fighting skills. However, confronting enemies capable of transforming into Mario's party members ends up crashing as well. Outside of battle, he remains the active partner, but this makes the menu system pretty glitchy. On all tested versions of the Virtual Console, opening the partner menu results in a crash. We'll get to the English Nintendo 64 shortly, but on the Japanese cartridge, the partner menu works. Though you may notice something a bit off. For the duration of the menu's opening animation, an uninitialized partner is highlighted by default, and automatically relocates to the top menu option when fully loaded. Unfortunately, it does not appear to be possible to select this option, but if you're interested in why that could be horribly broken, I'll link the potential Obtain Any Partner glitch explanation at the end of this video. Moving on to the English N64, the menu functions similar to the Virtual Console releases, resulting in a game crash upon opening. This crash corrupts the graphics, often bypassing the crash handler entirely. I've encountered a variety of different results. Some of the crashes are colorful, Others display corrupted logos found before the title screen. And a few of them advance a couple seconds later. Most of these require completely powering off the console. After experimenting with these crashes for some time, I had this coprocessor unusable issue when powering back on. The screen immediately jumps to this, preventing me from playing Paper Mario. Not sure if it was a coincidence, or if it did relate to repeatedly crashing the game, but just to be safe, I'm going to advise against anyone trying this on their own. But either way, hopefully I showed that it is possible to crash Paper Mario in practically every room, so long as Mario can be controlled by the player. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching.